This video is a review of the approximations method chapter in the quantum chemistry and spectroscopy playlist. So these are all methods that we can use whenever we can't solve the Schrodinger equation exactly. And the first one is the variational method. So let's represent our exact wave function as psi naught and our approximate wave function as phi. So the energy of any approximate wave function is going to be this type of integral here in Dirac notation, the integral of phi star h phi over the integral of phi star phi. And the variational method says that the energy of any approximate wave function is always going to be greater than or equal to the energy of the true exact wave function. So the lower the energy of our approximate wave function goes, the better of an approximation it is to the true ground state wave function and the true ground state energy. So what we do is we solve for the energy in terms of some parameter, lambda, which we can vary. And then we set the derivative of the energy with respect to this parameter equal to zero, such that we can find a minimum of the value of the energy with respect to our choice of that parameter. And then the best parameter we can choose is the one where the energy is minimized. So to do that a little bit more formally, we introduce the linear variational method where this parameter, these parameters are specifically variational parameters that are coefficients on different basis functions. So we have different basis functions, which might be the solution to a, some, a somewhat related model system. And we're trying to figure out what are the best choice of parameters to get the best approximate wave function we can get. So we use uh, some matrices here, one of which is the Hamiltonian matrix, whose elements is, are the integrals of uh, basis function I star times H acting on J. And then the S matrix, the overlap matrix, which are the integrals of the overlap of basis functions I star and basis function J. So our set of coefficients can form a vector and we get the matrix Schrodinger equation where HC equals ESC, Hamiltonian matrix times the coefficient vector equals energy times overlap matrix times coefficient vector. And we solve this equation for the best choice of coefficients by solving the secular determinant H minus E times S determinant equals zero. Finally, we have perturbation theory or we take our total Hamiltonian for our system and we break it down into two components, a reference Hamiltonian whose solutions we know exactly and a perturbation operator uh, that we don't. So the zero order equation here is H naught psi naught equals E naught psi naught, the part we can solve exactly. Then our energies and our wave functions are going to be a successive set of corrections on top of that original uh, a original reference system where the energy will equal a zero order plus first order plus second order etc set of solutions and the wave functions are going to equal a zero order plus first order plus second order etc set of uh, set of corrections we hope that our corrections become very accurate after only a few orders and if not then we could we should probably choose a different method and in particular our zero order energy is going to be uh, the integral of psi star h psi, and the first order energy is going to be the integral of psi star v psi, where uh, we have our uh, reference Hamiltonian here and our perturbation there. So links to each of the individual videos in uh, the on-screen annotations and in the description as well.